Hey Bulls fans, I'm here at the Cool Meter Not booth with none other than Mr. Black himself. Michael, how's it going, man? Things are going well here. Super busy uh, yes. this Friday. Gen Con 20, 2015, I almost said 14, because it's okay, we don't know the year, day. I don't know the day, we're time traveling. Right, it's the, Make it pretty much. <laughs> so we're over here, uh, we're gonna check out everything at the booth. So yeah, walk through what we got right here. It looks like some Dark Age, so what's going on? Starting off here, we have our Dark Age items. Basically, we released our second faction book, for Dark Age Forsaken. The entire range has been re-sculpted. That is over 40 sculpts available here for pre-sale, including new units and some of our older sculpts ranging back from 10 years ago, the old yeah. water clock age, back here, completely brought to our modern standard. Sweet. And then we can kind of like Let's show move you. over here real fast. All right, so over here, what do we got? More uh, more dark age minis. So as we mentioned here, we re-sculpted most of our line back here. We still have some of our re-sculpts here. Our new units, we've introduced our new mounted versions of the uh, Dark Age Forsaken Saints. Some of the best sculpts that we have released so far. And this is only the tip of the iceberg because we have more coming. And this is a small preview of things to come. Awesome. Okay, so over here, this is the uh, the demo table. I recognize this from last year, but it looks like there's some new factions. So uh, this is just one of the events. Well, what other stuff's going on? So we are doing full build and plays the entire event. So we've had people come by, pick up starter boxes, uh, build them up, and actually play in mini tournaments right off the bat just to show how our system works. This is all leading up to the Immortals tournament, Saturday at 6 o'clock. The uh, annual tournament we have every year. Biggest prize in gaming. Winner of the Immortals works with myself and the design staff. They get some model based on themselves or of their own design. Sweet. So over here we have the new uh, Rum and Bones game. So uh, Mr. Black, talk. What's up with this one, man? It's pretty new. So this is one of our newest board games. Uh, we previewed it here at Gen Con, but these are basically some of our painted miniatures for it. And this is a MOBA-style pirate game, basically pirate on pirate ship action, where you're controlling various crews of pirate heroes, just going and trying to do all that pirate stuff of just, you know, ransacking and destroying the enemy ships. And here, uh, we actually have a bunch of the resin preview models that people picked up, uh, basically to the painters and everything. They requested them, so we brought them for the show. These are available as full plastic when uh, Rum Bones, the board game actually releases. Awesome. And you guys have like a full online of everything. <laughs> Pretty awesome sculpts. Is that dude holding two pigs right there? That right there is one of my favorite characters. That's the Kung Kong Bombardier for the French faction. And yes, he uses exploding pigs as his weapon. <laughs> Don't worry, and the pigs love it. The pigs love it. And is that a samurai bandit? That is Lang, Lord of Lang, who may or may not be a uh, throw out to a design friend of mine, Eric Lang. Uh, but yeah, he likes pandas, and I just, you know, we threw him a little favor there. So there's Lang, Lord of Lang, for the Meizu's Dreadful Curse faction. Nice. Our Chinese pirates. Chinese pirates, awesome. So can you talk about the factions real quick, too, in uh, Rum and Bones? Yep. So in Rum and Bones, we have four main factions right now. We have the Wellsport Brotherhood, who are a bunch of drunken, rowdy pirates. It's probably these guys. Yep. Um, yep. Cool. And we then... have the Bone Devils, who are your quintessential undead, because you know that's become a trope now. Yeah. In the industry we're in, undead are just a thing that we are expected to have. Right. But beyond that, we have the Mazu's Dreadful Curse, our Chinese pirates, Pretty who sweet. are all about wind magic and mobility. And then above them, we have La Brise Sanguin, the dreaded uh, bloody wind for the French, which is actually my favorite faction. Uh, I just like a lot of the character and a lot of the. They're just. Uh, really nasty in how they play. Uh, a lot of cutthroat tactics, a lot of just surprise attacks. Cool. In addition to that, yeah, you've got a so number of different mercenaries that can be hired by any of the factions, one ranging from the Hell Rockers led by Napoleon uh, to the Luck Goddesses, an all-female pirate crew. It's even a tie-in with the Skull Kickers, uh, which is a uh, comic book series that we basically teamed up with and brought into our world. Awesome. Yeah, this is some pretty sweet skulls. What is that? Is that like octopus kraken thing in the back? What is that one? So that right there is a extra for our Kickstarter backers. That right there represents the Kraken, and they got a number of those awesome. tentacles, which the Kraken is a thing in our game, and it's, of course, devastating. Right on. Good stuff, man. All right, so Wrath of Kings, awesome stuff. What, what's... Just walk me through this whole setting real quick. <laughs> so basically, Wrath of Kings, this is the first Gen Con we have it available here. We have the full line. Uh, basically, it's our big premiere here for the show. Uh, everything that you see here, that's five factions. The entire line here. It's our new miniature game, D10 based system, free rules online. Everything is multi piece plastic kit. Uh, scales from skirmish level gameplay all the way up to full size war games with 50 models per side. And just it's a lot of fun. One of our yeah. biggest successes we've had here at the show. Can you talk a little bit about the mechanics? Because a lot of people that might not be familiar, I know the rules are free online, but it's D10 first off. 
which is awesome because I like D10s. But can you talk a little bit about like the, the, the die rolls? Sure, and I'll even do a small plug here because we actually just did a how to play tutorial video up on our website. So Check it out. In, I believe actually 12 minutes you can fully learn how to play. But basically, we've done a one die resolution system. So what it is is when you roll, Thank you roll you one die, and that's going to tell you everything you know, need to know about how the combat result. Uh, you're going to roll your die, you're going to compare it to your target's defense chart. It's going to be a chart that basically has results of 1 through 10. And that's going to tell you everything the result, whether you hit the guy, whether you wounded them, whether they blocked their attack, whether they parried and they're attacking you back now. So we've made it a very simple combat system, but there's a lot of depth because all the reactions and all the special stuff that can happen based on that chart are really what set this game apart. In addition to that, it's a heavy, big motivation and scenario-based game. So you've got your reasons you're coming to the battlefield, your opponent has their reasons, and they're not always the same thing. I might be trying to escort civilians across the battlefield to get them out of harm's way. You might be trying to assassinate my, uh, my leaders. So we have our own basic mini schemes and objectives that really customize how we want to play our army. Right on. So it's just... It's a completely different system than, than anything I've seen just with the, the single die resolution, the, like you said, the schemes and stuff like that. It's really cool. It's a really fun game. Check it out. We're going to get a demo here. Uh, I've already dabbled in a little bit, but again, it's awesome. So yeah, Wrath Kings.